and he is joining us by phone right now. Good morning to you, Mr. President. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. They call him Scooby Doo. They call show Scooby Doo. But Scooby doesn't do anything. Scooby is not involved. Half the time, Scooby's not even involved. He's just a bystander. It's one of the worst deals we've ever had. What do you do in that scenario? Do you back off? Do you say, I don't need it? Do you say, show it to me? To call the show Scooby-Doo and then not deliver on Scooby-Doo. This is not a show about a dog sniffing its ass, okay? This is your show of where the mystery team are in a van, and they walk around and they do, you know, they, they figure out, you know, mystery. They're solving mystery. And Scooby is not involved in any way, shape, form. Scooby, frankly, gets much too much attention, money. We're giving way too much attention to Mr. Scooby. And he's not doing anything. Scooby do, he doesn't do. So we call him Scooby, but he doesn't do. We call him Scooby, but he doesn't do. It's a terrible deal. The show, by the way, if we were talking about who actually was doing anything, solving mystery and helping crime, stopping the bad guys who are really not so bad. Mr. President, was there a criminal cover-up? If you talk to some of these guys, they just want to remake the world into a better place if it wasn't for these meddlesome kids and their stupid look. Okay? But we're doing a show about mystery, team. You know, they're solving the mystery. They should call the show Velma. Why don't they call the show Velma? Velma's the one doing everything. Fred and Daphne, they're just over there porking in the corner. They're not, do they're not doing anything. They're making out being unhelpful, okay? Fred just drives. Fred's just the driver. He doesn't drive the plot, and he doesn't drive the mystery, and he doesn't solve the mystery. He just moves the van from place to place, A to B. And it's a very unhelpful thing. We don't even need the van. The van does not play narrative. It does not have narrative role, okay? Other than we can't be doing the same crime in the same place. We need to move on to a new monster. And so from that perspective, Van makes a lot of sense. But Daphne, Daphne, not much to do. Daphne, very not much to do. Shaggy, oddly enough, this little stoner who's over in the corner picking his ass and rolling joints, weirdly actually ends up helping the mystery a lot more than Fred than Daphne. Okay? A lot more. And yet we call show Scooby-Doo. We call the show Scooby-Doo, and we should be calling it Velma. We should be calling it Shaggy and Velma. With minimal help from Scooby-Doo, and we're doing a terrible job, frankly, monitoring this situation. Uh, what else is new? Uh, meanwhile, oh, Brian, people say I know haunted. They, people say I know haunted diver, haunted scuba guy. I, I, of course, I wish him well. I wish anybody well. He's just he glows, and he's got glowing seaweed and glowing kelp on his body. I wish a lot of people well. Okay. I would wish Jabberjaw well. You know, I wish I wish a lot of people well. I used to live in an underwater. I used to live in an underwater, and I thought that, you know, haunted scuba guy, all the people in his neighborhood really like him, okay? It's the kids that come in and break everything up that are to blame. It is the meddlesome kids. The scuba guy would have been fine if it weren't for the awful kids. And don't we love, folks, don't we love that theme song? Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. President. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thanks so much.